Hey guys, it's Amberly. I wanted to apologize in advance if you can hear the air conditioner in the background. It is really humid today. But other than that, I wanted to talk about regurgitation and vomiting. You're watching k and Snakes. First, I want to define the difference between regurgitation and vomiting. There actually is a difference. Regurgitation is when your snake expels food that isn't yet digested, usually from the esophagus. Most snakes will regurgitate maybe a day or two after their meal, uh, where, whereas vomiting is the expulsion of partially digested material from the stomach and this will usually happen you know like three four five days after your snake eats i mean it's really really bad for your snakes to regurge or vomit no matter what it's stressful for you it's stressful for the snake so let's take a look at some of the reasons why they vomit and how we can fix them just as it is with almost any condition with snakes, stress is a main factor. Stress can be caused by handling your snake too much, too often, or right before they eat or right after they eat. An easy way to take care of that is just stop handling them so much. Another big issue is house them singly, all by themselves. A lot of big breeders don't have hides for every single one of their snakes. An easy fix is just give your snake a hide. Even if you just give them a newspaper hide, we fold our newspaper in a way that it creates a sort of hide for the snakes that they can go under. Even that will, is better than nothing. And they're going to need a hide that is appropriately sized for their body. One way to tell that your snake is stressed out, they're wandering all over their tub or their tank. Now this can be caused by other things, maybe they went to the bathroom and they're trying to avoid it or they spilled their water, but if you check and everything's fine inside and your snake is still wandering like crazy, cover the front of their tub or their tanks. As you can see behind me, there are two ways to do it. In front of Lee's tub, I uh, used a towel. You do not want to put the towel in the tub. No towels or t-shirts or washcloths or anything goes in the tub because believe it or not, they can eat it. So let's avoid that. And then uh, in front of Philomena's tub here, I just used construction paper. I, I had a black piece of construction paper. I taped it um, you know, together because I cut it in half and taped it on the sides and it works just fine. You can also take like a hole punch and punch several holes in the paper to give you know a little bit of daylight. Covering their tubs is a very temporary way to try to calm them down. You do not want to do that for long term. Another primary factor for vomiting or regurgitation is one of the same things again that can cause any problems in snake. Their environment. Most of the time their temperature is off. Either it's too warm or too cold. This can also be caused by sharp rises or drops um, within their habitat. So all you have to do for that is reset your thermostat. Monitor the temperature in your snake's habitat. It's as easy as that. Once the temperature has been corrected, chances are your snake will stop puking. Another factor is, well, for stress anyway, is um, they have a new tank you've put them in a bigger tank because they were growing or you switched from a tank to a rack or you know what have you you may have put the tank in a different location you want to try to avoid areas with high foot traffic somewhere where everything can be stable if you do move them they can also get stressed out if you have a new setup where you were on this substrate and you had this item here and this item there. 
and then you change the substrate, you move stuff around, you add a couple plants or what have you. Or you go from a tank setup to a rack setup, which is very minimal. There's not a lot of room for all that. That can surely stress the snake out. It's not used to its environment, and it's going to take a little bit of time for them to adapt to their new environment before either they are ready to eat again or until they can calm down to avoid the stress that is going to make them puke. Looking at things other than stress, um, some physical factors, your snake may have regurgitated or vomited because of a bad meal. It could have been that the item offered was simply too large. They may have eaten it backwards, which kind of goes against the grain in a way. The mouse's fur is obviously a certain direction and going the opposite way, it kind of ruffles that up. Your food item may have maybe just too old. It may be freezer burned if you're feeding frozen thawed, or perhaps you've offered it before and they didn't eat, so you refreezed it. You could be feeding them too often. We feed our big guys once a week and our smaller guys twice a week, but they're given, you know, appropriately sized meals. We don't want to power feed or try to get, you know, a juvenile to start out on a weaned rat right away just to keep them full for the month. For snakes that eat amphibians, um, there are some snakes out there that eat frogs and stuff like that. The amphibians have, you know, this protective coat on them, often contain toxins, which can make your snake sick if it's a little bit too toxic or, you know, their body just can't handle the levels it's easier just to expel than try to digest. Another physical issue is infections. They can get bacterial infections, uh, protozoal infections like different amoebas and flagellates, and metazoan infections such as worms. And for these things you want to take your snake to a vet. She can give you antibiotics or you know, deworming medication and that sort of thing to get your snake healthier so that it can keep food down. Another cause is foreign body obstruction. Along the same kind of line, older snakes especially, but all snakes potentially, can develop tumors. To think of it simply, snakes kind of are just one large digestive system, so a tumor, no matter where it is, could potentially block areas in their body that they used to be able to pass th food through, but now it's obstructed, it can't get to where it was supposed to go, they'll throw up. The snake will obviously get very malnourished unless something can be done. And lastly, there's a sort of physical but behavioral issue. For some reason, snakes don't drink a lot, as in frequency. But when they do, they drink a lot in quantity. So if they're drinking right before mealtime or after mealtime, this could offset things and cause them to regurgitate or vomit. And on the opposite end, they may be underhydrated or dehydrated. And this can cause an issue because no matter what they're eating, it sort of has this aspect of friction going down their systems because their their gut is dry uh, there's no like lubrication in a way so that's about all i have on the subject of regurgitation and vomiting i hope you guys learned something if you have any questions at all feel free to comment and we'll get back to you as soon as we can thank you guys for watching and we will see you next time Hey guys, if you like that video, check out some of our other videos on our channel. Also, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share with a friend. We want to see the community grow as a whole. And as always, have a good one.